And that brings me to TikTok. TikTok, of course, is the platform of short videos that young people, your kids, are obsessed with. Um, TikTok is a platform of very short videos um, that dominates uh, social media for young people ages 18 to 24. But what's fascinating about it is that it is dominated by pro-Hamas anti-Israel hashtags. So somebody did a, an analysis, and they found that if you look at um, Free Palestine, they, they were, uh, uh, Free Palestine got, uh, let me see, this is number of views, 446,600,000 views on the hashtag Free Palestine over the last 30 days. At the same time, over the last 30 days, Stand With Israel, the hashtag Stand With Israel, got 16,400,000. So 30 times more for Free Palestine. Now, that's just one uh, stab. But overall, the, the, uh, the, you know, the TikTok is dominated by anti-Israeli, pro-Hamas, uh, videos, uh, whatever else you do in TikTok, I guess it's videos. Um, and uh, it's not surprising that in poll after poll, when you poll uh, 18 to 24-year-olds, they all think that Israel is the villain here. Well, to a large extent, they think Israel is a villain here because that's all they see. All they see is videos and TikToks and reinforced through the algorithm of TikTok, reinforce the negative message. Uh, another one, for example, uh, between October 23rd and 30th, Stand With Palestine got 285 million views and 87,000 posts. Stand With Israel got 64 million views, a quarter, and only 9,000 posts, one-tenth. One-tenth. And this is, of course, being ramped up because if you look at data from earlier in October, Stand With Palestine got nothing. Stand With Israel got nothing in comparison. So um, the propaganda on, uh, on TikTok has ramped up dramatically. Uh, and it's, it's interesting. You know, it's easy to blame the Chinese, and, and I have nothing against blaming the Chinese for this. But it is interesting that uh, uh, this platform is in one way or another linked to the to the Chinese Communist Party. It, it is uh, uh, Chinese dominated. And one wonders if, uh, given the Chinese incentive to create, what, to create uh, uh, angst among, uh, among Americans, to create a split between Israelis and Americans, to create a split within American culture, to create angst and uncertainty and rivalries and tribalism and everything. Uh, could it be that the Chinese have, or the Chinese company, uh, have, have, have um, tweaked the algorithm, tweaked the algorithm to emphasize the, uh, the Hamas uh, videos, the pro-Hamas videos? 10x more videos pro-Hamas than pro-Israel. 10x. And, and let's just be clear, this is just in America. Think, of, I mean, there are more Jews in America than there are Arabs or Muslims. Um, so it's not sheer numbers. These are Americans. These are white kids. These are just regular Americans. Both uploading pro-Hamas videos and sharing pro-Hamas videos, and those are the videos that go viral. Uh, but whether, whether this is a thought-out campaign by the Chinese, hard to tell, hard to tell. Uh, so anyway, TikTok is on the side of Hamas. Uh, TikTok is reinforcing all the talking points of Hamas to your kids. Uh, these are all numbers for uh, 18 to 24-year-olds.